What's going on guys, I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hyper2 Productions and today I wanted to discuss with you guys why I prefer zoom lenses over prime lenses, especially in this space of filmmaking. So if you're an indie filmmaker, right, we're not gonna talk about big budgeted filmmakers because you have money, you have time, and you have options, right? But when you're an indie filmmaker, a lot of times everything's coming out of your own pocket. Everything is just, it's up to you and the tools that you have. And you have to remember that everything within this space, they're just tools, right? So the reason why I always gravitate towards zoom lenses over prime lenses, even though prime lenses are, are faster, um, is the flexibility of zoom lenses. You know, every minute counts when you're on set. When you get a location, you got four hours, you're gonna shoot five, six scenes, every second, every minute matters, right? So with zoom lenses, especially if you get something like the Canon's 24 to 70, or what I used for three or two of my films, the first film was a Sigma 18 to 35, the, and then my two other films, uh, it was the Canon EF 24 to 104 F4 lens. And that lens to this day, to me, is one of the goat tier lenses. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because you can go wide, for the shots that you need, and then you can go close when you need to. Instead of having to walk closer or having to reset up your camera or anything like that, you can just simply zoom in. The thing with primes is, you know, you that just the fact that you have to take off a lens, even though it's faster, and then put on another lens, that's time wasted. And I personally never shoot wide open. I don't like the the look and feel of wide open a lot of times even with big hollywood films when they shoot wide open you can see uh that it's kind of out of focus like it's in it's in focus but it's it's kind of out of focus and with some films you know they shoot wide open and it's like okay i have a headache even watching this so you know for me i like to kind of shoot around that f4 range because it's easier to pull focus with moving targets i don't use autofocus everything's manual um and again, you're able to get that versatility at a pretty reasonable price if you go for a higher f-stop, if it is just a little slower. And you know, for all of you Sony shooters out there that have the really high ISO, that, you know, the, the, the fact that the lens is slow shouldn't even be an issue at all because you could just crank up that ISO. So if you're in the market and you're looking for a lens and you're about to go into your first feature film or short film or project and you're kind of on the fence, you've got a budget and you're like, man, I don't know what to get. Me personally, my recommendation would be to get a good zoom lens um, based on your budget, right? If you have five, six thousand dollars for a lens, you get whatever you want. But if you're in that range of like five hundred to like thirteen hundred dollars for like one lens, I would go for a used zoom lens. I'm Jason Park with Hyper2 Productions. Talk to you guys soon.